create a corporate professional logo. Thanks to Saurab, he wanted us to create a corporate logo. You need to have a character that the corporate could be identified with. And it needs to be simple because the trend right now is to have less clutter on our logos and we need to have less weight on our logos. Try to make it as simple as possible and have it interesting so that people, when they see the character, they can identify with the, with the company that you're designing for. So professional, all of your logos should be professional in my opinion. Corporate, yes, maybe you could be using corporate uh, fonts and colors that are somber based on the company that you're designing for. The one that we're going to be doing today, we're going to be using our elements. So you're going to click on elements and you're going to look for shapes and signs. We're looking for a circle, just a basic normal circle. You just click on it once. And then you can make it a little bit big and size it like this. So you know, most with Canva, if you're using graphics that are designed by somebody else on Canva, you're unable to trademark that logo or copyright that logo. So just do your due diligence before you jump in, especially when you're designing for a corporate. However, with text, and shapes it's it's easier to register that logo because you would have created it from the start so once you have your circle on there you're going to go back to your elements and then you're going to go to lines and shapes and you're going to look for this shape and you're going to change color reduce size and then move it to the side like that you're going to control c or command c and duplicate that shape rotate it so that you have a nice design of an e that's what we're gunning for here then we're going to press l for line and we're going to change our line and we're going to make it white as well and you're going to increase the weight of the line so that you can move the line and you have a nice round effect. So at the moment, the line is square. I want round end point and start point because I want my E to be round. So you're going to nicely move it nice and slow so that it gives us that round line like that. And then you move it all the way out so that you have a E. And you're going to take a copy of this and you're going to make on the other side as well. You know, I could have duplicated the same shape and saved myself time. Anyway, you're going to move that so that you have a nice round E that looks like that. What I mean by that, if you click on your background, there's your E nicely designed corporate looking and then you size it ever so gently so that you don't see any overlapping designs outside your design. Once you're done like this, you're going to press T for text and then you're going to add the name of the company and it would look like that. So your 2D is done and in order for you to convert this to a 3D, because we've used shapes on top of shapes, we're going to have to download this logo. I'm going to change the color for that one, make it white. We're going to download this logo, upload it again, and then take off the background in order for it to take off the background and it would look stunning when you get to photo P. So we're going to download page two is transparent. And once it has downloaded, you're going to add a third page, drag your design that you've just created. You see, it has those additional shapes that we've included. Then you're going to size it like that. Then you're going to go edit image, remove background so that it takes off the shapes that you've added on there. Then you click on apply. Make sure that the white name didn't remove as well. So we'll add that. Cool. Now you're going to 
dump to photo P, find your PSD file that you want to use as your converter to a 3D, load it, and then double click where it says your logo here, hide your text, drag your design, we're going to size it nicely like this, clean, not complicated, not cluttered, you save as a smart object, and you click once where it says logo mockup 3D, and there's your gorgeous, very distinct design that you've created for your corporate client. So you're then going to go file, export as a PNG. If you're getting value from this video, please don't forget to click on the like button so that YouTube can show it to more designers that we could help. Thank you for joining me today. I will see you on the next video.